Hey everyone, J Dog with another video. This is about what this moron, Fake Paul, did on Twitter. Yeah, for those who know, this is Twitter sensation Jake Paul, or should I say, Fake Paul, Fake Wannabe Boxer. Oh, and by the way, he was just recently, now wants to get into MMA, and because recently, the boxing, pro I mean, the MMA promotion, uh, PFL, wants to sign up. So he's going from a fake boxer to now wanting to be a fake MMA fighter. But that's not what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the stupidity that happened uh, a couple weeks ago on Twitter. So I was going around Twitter, and then I noticed that people were talking about what Jake Fake Paul did. He was punching a dildo. But not just, yeah, that's right. But what makes it disturbing is, even more disturbing, is he was punching the dildo that looked like a black man's you-know-what. Can anyone say penis envy? Well, that's exactly what your fake Paul here has. So he's basically, uh, basically, um, everyone knows about how, uh, these palm colored racists think about black men. I guess they get, they get really je jealous when they try to compare the, the you know what to who has the biggest manhood with, um, and stuff like that. Yeah. You, and you know what I mean by manhood. And all I can say is this, what he did, and I, unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, I'm not going to show that video. I mean, I would have had this channel flagged if I showed this, that, that video. And I don't want to show that video anyway. But this shows you the disturbance of some of these white supremacists, these racists like your fake Paul. And how they really are jealous of the black man. How how they are envious of the black man. Uh, yeah, you going around him punching uh, a dildo of what looks like a black man's stick. Yeah, you fake Paul. I also question uh, fake Paul's um, orientation. Or, yeah, I question um, Jake Paul as uh, what kind of lifestyle, the lifestyle of, of, of fake Paul. I'm starting to think he's a suspected, you know, alternative lifestyle. As a suspected alternative lifestyle. That's what I'm starting to think about your fake Paul right here. All right, he's... He's already proven that he's trying to be a wannabe boxer. Now he's even trying to become a wannabe MMA fighter. And you have PFL willing to sign him. Like, that's still not going to make you above the UFC. Yeah, you're not going to be above the UFC, uh, PFL, if you're signing idiots like Fake Paul over here. Who's going around punching dildos that look like... Uh, you know what? And basically, the acting very strange. Fake Paul and his idiotic brother have done just all kinds of suspected weird stuff. Yet, you get boxing promotions wanting to deal with them. The WWE want to deal with, deal with them. PFL want to deal with them. Um, it's, it's just, uh, I just cannot stand fake Paul or his brother or sister. I, I just can't stand the Paul sisters. All right, I just cannot stand these these morons. But people want to follow them, and, and, and we know that they're sus suspect. So yeah. The disturbing behavior, the disturbing actions of fake Paul is what I have to say. But 
I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Write down in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that notification. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on YouTube or any other pl platform that I'll probably leave the link to for y'all to follow me on. But that's all I have to say about this situation. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.